now as we celebrate our beautiful national park. So many natural treasures captured in countless pictures. Will Reeves spoke with a renowned National Geographic photographer who is now showing us the real time effects of climate change. Will has that story. Good morning. Good morning, Wit. Stephen Wilkes is unfathomably talented and committed. For his day to night series, for instance, he'll camp in the same spot for up to 36 hours to get the shots he needs. And in photog photographing our national parks, Wilkes is as much a historian as he is an artist. What I try to do is capture a place that's familiar, but I want to show it to you in a way you've never seen it before. I'm a storyteller. National Geographic photographer Stephen Wilkes' pictures tell compelling stories. From the ghosts of Ellis Island to showcasing an alternative dimension even stranger than we could ever imagine. I think what really makes a great and meaningful photograph is the story that it tells. You know, does it make you feel something? His award-winning day-to-night photography series showing time passing in a single image. It's one of his best-known projects. What is the process for a photograph like that? It takes months sometimes. I put cranes in places, I build scaffolding. What we just did in, from Shai Shai Beach, I took three separate trips to finally get that photograph. And I stood on a rock for almost 20 hours photographing this epic seascape. When I went to Bears Ears National Park in Utah, Colorado border, we hiked in over an hour and we camped for three nights to capture the moon rising. And after 20 years photographing our national parks, Wilkes has borne witness to the impact of a changing climate. In the Yukon, we were expecting 55 degree temperatures and a, a migration to come through. And we ended up having 30 degree temperatures, 50 knot winds and snow. The Peace J. L. Bar Ranch in Yellowstone for America the Beautiful. Do you know that two weeks later, the bridges that I traveled to to make that photograph don't exist anymore? The Yellowstone River flooded at a scale and a magnitude that's never been seen before, you know, hundreds of years. We really have to change our behavior because we've been a species uh, that's constantly taken and not given. And our planet needs a steward right now. The future of our national parks all the more important to Wilkes, who has a big reason to care. Because this last year, I've been blessed with a beautiful granddaughter named Sadie Ray, and she's inspired me. I watch the way she sees the world. And when you see the world through a child's eyes, it touches your soul and made me think about what are we going to leave her? What is her world going to be like 20 years from now? And so, you know, for me, every day I'm, I'm with her, I'm thinking about the joy in the moment, the magic that I see, but also, what can I do to make sure that she gets to see that flower 20 years from now? Stephen told me I've been blessed with doing what I love since I was 12 years old. I'm forever curious, which drives me, but it's finding purpose that gives me the energy to keep going. Stephen's photos can be found in the September issue of National Geographic, America the Beautiful at NatGeo.com. Fantastic. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.